2025 Volvo XC90, starting at $58,695. Although it hasn't been fully redesigned in 10 model years, the 2025 Volvo XC90 remains an alluring option among mid-size luxury crossovers. A styling and interior refresh that arrives in the first quarter extends the XC90's lifespan even further. Early 2025s don't get the refresh. A trio of powertrains is available, starting with the base B5, which offers 247 horsepower from a turbocharged four-cylinder. The next rung-up B6 adds a supercharger to this engine and boosts power to 295 horsepower. Both rely on a 48-volt hybrid system. Speaking of hybrids, there's the T8 plug-in hybrid model, which pumps out 455 horsepower and can travel up to 33 miles on electric power before the battery depletes. Fine materials enrich the XC90's designer interior, including beautiful open-pore wood trim, soft leather, and tasteful bright work. The XC90's road manners are agreeable, though the ride can get stiff on the optional 22-inch wheels over broken pavement. The entry-level core trim now comes with 20-inch wheels instead of 19s, and the mid-range plus trim gets laminated acoustic side window glass for better sound insulation. The top-spec Ultimate trim has also been renamed. It's now called Ultra and can be had with your choice of any of the XC90's three powertrains. This year also marks the debut of the electric EX90 model. Volvo allows for a decent amount of personalization when it comes to building the perfect XC90, but to find a good balance of opulence, price, and power, we'd suggest starting with the Plus trim. Adding the optional 295 Hortpa B6 powertrain and sticking with the cheaper seven-passenger bench seat layout instead of paying for second-row captain's chairs. Choosing the updated 2025-1.5 model seems like a no-brainer, but if you're on a budget, you may find that the current 2025 model is getting a bigger discount at your local Volvo dealer. Engine, transmission, and performance. The B5 and B6 powertrains receive help from a 48-volt electric motor. With styling that still looks fresh and a cabin offering the same high-quality treatment as top rivals, the XC90 remains a strong competitor to newer SUVs like the Porsche Cayenne, the BMW X5, the Genesis GV80, and the Mercedes-Benz GLE class. What's new for 2025? Volvo has reworked several areas of the XC90, but that updated version is a 2025 half-model year vehicle. Confusing matters is the fact that early 2025s don't get the refresh, which should hit showrooms in the first quarter of 2025. It features revised front-end styling, a redesigned dashboard, updated interior materials, improved sound deadening for a quieter cabin, tweaked suspension tuning, and a new 11.2-inch infotainment display. The current XC90 will also be sold during the 2025 calendar year alongside the updated model until stocks run out. Volvo has dropped the name Recharge from the XC90's top T8 powertrain, which now wears the generic plug-in hybrid nomenclature of PHEV. B5 models feature a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine good for 247 horsepower. Moving up to the B6 powertrain increases output to 295 horsepower. The 455-par plug-in hybrid T8 powertrain boosts the XC90 into the quick class of SUVs. All-wheel drive and an 8-speed automatic transmission come with every XC90, no matter the trim level or powertrain. As with many vehicles in this class, the Volvo leans noticeably around curves, but its steering responses are accurate, and the wheel has a pleasing heft that splits the difference between feather light and heavy weight. Our test car had the optional air suspension, which provided a pleasant, insulated ride. It also handled most road situations well. Some clattering from the chassis over particularly sharp bumps betrays minor road imperfections, one of only a few grievances with the otherwise graceful XC90. We haven't test-driven the update updated 2025.5 model yet, but when we do, we'll update this story with driving impressions.